Some mixed news this morning on the metro housing market. New numbers show sales are slowing down, but prices are staying very high. So we are going in depth on housing this morning. We'll have the latest uh, on home sales. We're also looking into why it's so hard to find a starter home or condo in Colorado. And we'll tell you about the South Metro Group opening applications today for housing vouchers. But we want to start with housing sales this morning in the Denver Metro. Specifically, there were more than 7,000 active listings at the end of September. That's up 11% from August, but prices haven't changed much. The median sale price was $585,000, according to the Denver Metro Association of Realtors. Just a slight change from August. These homes are sitting on the market a little bit longer, and these buyers are savvy. They're not haggling on the price per se, but they are asking for concessions to help with their financing. They're asking for items at inspection. Levinson Katz there says if you're thinking about selling your home in the next six months or so to take exterior pictures now while the garden looks nice and the sun is higher in the sky. One of the biggest challenges for prospective home buyers in Colorado is finding a starter home. Many would look to a condo as an option, but developers just aren't building them. A new report by the Common Sense Institute found a 76% drop in condo starts in the last 15 years. In 2008, we had 146 active condo developers. This year, we only have 23. And so as the litigation and, uh, and concurrent risk has increased, we've seen developers flee the space for the safer harbor of rental products. The Common Sense Institute is suggesting solutions like a statewide building standard that would limit the liability developers face and spread it among all of the trades involved in a building construction. They also want a right to remedy the system so that developers can fix any problems that do come up. A local group helping people with affordable housing is opening applications today. South Metro Housing Options helps families, students, professionals, seniors, and disabled adults in Littleton and Arapahoe County. They're opening the wait list at 8 a.m. today for vouchers to be used for their communities. Next Tuesday, they'll open another wait list for the Bradley House Apartments in Littleton, which is a complex for seniors and adults with disabilities. You can learn more on the website smho.co.